what's up collective how are you guys doing i wanted to come through with a quick just fun reading we're gonna do a soulmate reading we're gonna do a love reading we're gonna see uh how your soulmate is feeling about you right um how they see you what their intentions actions are towards you we're gonna get advice we're just gonna do very quickly so let's go ahead and get into it thank you for all that you do thank you for being here hope you guys are taking care of yourselves you guys are awesome sausages so thank you so much okay collective let's go ahead and get into this let's really quickly just pound this out right so how does uh the collective soulmate see them currently like what do they how do they see this person right we have the wish card coming out so interesting because i did a kind of like a, a similar reading to this on instagram and literally the wish card came out for this position of how the soulmate the instagram collective soulmate saw them so you know how your person sees you as a wish okay they see you as something that they wish for something that they want something that they hold tender to their heart right i don't with this card i always get that wisp of air like whew, you blow it whew, it's gone it was there you had it and whew, it's gone it's like was that even real the collective uh energy like i feel like your soulmate even feels like sometimes like was it even real was this all a dream was this person did i ever even have this person like they're struggling with reality right now is the energy i'm getting with you they want you but they don't see you around they feel you everywhere they feel you um in the air in songs in their everyday life they feel you but you're just not there they reach out for you there's nothing there it's that's that's what they're giving me how does the collective soulmate see them currently spirit right yeah something that you're not there you're everywhere but you're nowhere they feel like you see her back to us backs to us in divination walking away or something that's not facing you it's not there it's like but but it's still there if that makes any sense. I feel like you, your soulmate feels like they see you as somebody that they're being led towards. Or somebody that has been led away from them. They also see that too. With the lantern, this is hermit vibes, so spirit. Reading the fine print. Maybe they, maybe they see you as somebody who didn't read the fine print with them. And now you've turned you're turned your back because you not to be malicious, maybe for some of you, but it feels like because you're being led somewhere else. That's the energy I'm getting. How does the collective soulmate see them? How does the collective soulmate see the collective? Yeah, sail away, right? For sure. I feel like this is definitely sailing away. I don't feel like this is sailing towards them collective. I mean, take it as it resonates and we will get into it. But I feel like this is somebody that they they see you as somebody who has sailed away with her little lantern there and her back towards us. You might have dark hair. You might have long, dark hair. Okay. Yeah, they see you as somebody who sailed away, right? Sailed to brighter uh, horizons to where the sun is setting on something. There's a there's an energy of like a finality or like an ending or a yearning or a dreaming, wishing. They might see you as like two ships that pass in the night. Like you're just, you're, you're kind of in alignment, but you're going next to each other. You're not coming towards each other, if that makes any sense. They might see you like that too. They also might see you as somebody who's on the move, somebody who listens to spirit very uh, devoutly. I feel like, or just your, you know, God or the universe or your instincts, whatever. They see you as obedient to something beyond yourself, higher than yourself, collective, basically, is what I'm getting. They also might see you as somebody who is a wishful thinker, is a dreamer, you know, somebody who um, is kind of has like, dreamy fairy hippie witchy vibes to you for sure with that so what's their feelings what's the collective soulmates feelings towards the collective right how are they feeling towards the collective how's their soulmate feeling um okay some of them might feel like you're watching them collective. I don't know if you are. Maybe you are. Maybe y'all are watching each other. I don't know. For some of them, they're feeling like they have to watch you from a distance. I feel like there's this feeling of I have to kind of keep my distance and view you through a lens or view you through something else. They might feel like that. Like they have to spy on you or they have to watch you from they can't approach you for whatever reason collective. Some of them might feel like they watch you go. Some of them might feel like they're stuck because there's this energy of with the picture when I think about it. It's like they might feel like they're stuck with a certain memory or certain vibe of you and things have changed now. I don't know. 
Maybe they feel like they were viewing you through a distorted lens too, some of them, and they feel like that, that the view of you is changed is what I'm getting. How they feel, they feel the pool. That's my pool card. That's when you're feeling pulled towards something that don't make no damn sense. A mermaid and a human. How in the Disney is this ever going to happen, right? But uh, you're still feeling pulled towards it. You're still feeling the siren's call. They might see you as a siren. They might see you as somebody who tempts them. Especially like through, um, if you guys do have each other's social media, you know, you go back and forth or whatever or anything. They might see you as somebody who tempts them from afar. Okay, take it as it resonates, collective. But I am getting that energy. Mm -hmm, they feel the pull. How, does they, how do they feel? How does the collective soulmate feel towards the collective spirit? How do they feel? Whoa, that's way too many. They feel like you're guarded though, right? They feel like you've gotten some kind of information that's put you on guard with that tea time. Just one more. How do they feel, collective? How do they feel towards the collective? There's so many feel. One more, right? One more. Okay. We have the waterfall that came out. It came out with spiritual connection, but like I said, I only want to pick one more. Oh well, just put it down. We have more room on the board now, anyways. They feel a spiritual connection to you, the red string of fate, right? They feel that with you. With this waterfall, they feel like there's a lot of emotion or like a strong surges of emotion that they feel when they think of you. They're having a hard time processing it, is what I'm getting. With the candle energy on the bottom, again, they're feeling led towards you. Yeah, they feel like they want to come rushing in. That's the energy there. For sure. They feel like they're connected. They feel like they're attached to you. I'm kind of getting devil energy off of this. I got to be real with you. I'm getting like some kind of energy of like, it's just too much sometimes what they feel like the connection is just too much. It's like it never goes away. It never relieves. It never ceases. It's just constant, a constant flow of water. For me, water and divination is emotion. So there is emotion here. Um, it's just it's constant and sometimes the pressure because they're giving me this energy of like a shower that has beating down pressure and they're showing me it beating down on somebody's back. I don't know why that's in a feeling that they're having. Maybe they just constantly feel the energetic pressure. Maybe you're energetically thinking about this person a lot. They think about you. So y'all feel like you're just a const it's constant. I'm, I don't know. I'm getting that energy. Yeah, they might even be taking this as like a a warning sign. They might be reading this as a red flag with you. Maybe any time that they felt this passionate about somebody in the past, it's led to trouble. So they're like, oh, hell no, this can't be good. Because they're recognizing the soul connection. I feel like this might be why they're watching you from a distance. They might also, in some weird extreme cases where I feel like your person is seriously lost space with reality when I say this, guys. Because this to me sounds so far out, but take it as it resonates because I know this is a reality for some people out there. Your person might feel like you're watching them from a distance doing something to kind of keep you guys bound together, like maybe magic. I'm being so 100. I know. I'm sorry. I hate to bring silly crap like that into these readings, but this is the energy I'm getting. Like somebody might have even, like, because the connection is so strong. Like anybody who's been on the twin flame journey, you know how that feels when you go through that phase where you can't stop thinking about the person and it feels like there has been something put on you. I've been there. I've, I've thought about somebody so much that I was like, okay, this is obsessive. There's been something put on me. I've never felt this way ever before. I've never been able to not stop thinking about somebody before. Well, I've been there. Right. I think like anybody who's been on the twin flame journey, we've all been there. That might be where this person is at. And so they're trying to make sense of it. You know what I'm saying? Like they're trying to logicalize their feelings here. And it's like spiritual connections. One thing you have to know, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm maybe y'all do know. Maybe they need to know um, is that it's not going to be logical. It's never going to be logical. It's never going to make sense. It's never going to be in the right time. There is no such thing as wrong place, wrong time, right person, wrong time. None of that. No, 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 no. It's always, there's always some kind of spiritual lesson. If you guys are brought together to get brought apart, there's a lesson there in that. There's some kind of growth that's meant to be in that. Because you guys have a red string of fate here. So this person feels bound to you. This person feels connected to you, right? What is their actions slash intentions? What is their next actions? slash intentions towards the collective, the collective soulmate, right? 
<clears throat> this can be so much, this card. This card's been coming out hella a lot lately too. This could be Dancing in the Moonlight. That's my new Dancing in the Moonlight card, okay? <laughs> Um, this is way down in Kokomo. I have a lot of music <laughs> for my cards. I like music. Um, but this is also caring connections, getting to know each other, dating, romancing, whining, dining. This is also nostalgia and thinking about somebody and being stuck in the past with the black and white, being stuck in the memories, being stuck in what was. This is their next action towards you. I don't feel like they're really, I don't feel like this is in the physical. It could be, it might be. Some of them might be wanting to come towards you and, and dance with you in the moonlight sunlight in front of everybody and don't give a gosh darn who sees it or who cares i'm getting that energy too but with the judgment card on the bottom of the deck i feel like this person wants to do this but they might feel like they don't know what judgment they're going to get if they come towards you yeah read the fine print they feel like that's been we've been seeing that a lot throughout this reading it hasn't actually came out but it's been like when i split the deck or the bottom of the deck i keep seeing this card so with this soulmate for this group whoever i'm talking to your uh, soulmate really does feel like there's some kind of catch here or that there is some kind of fine print or there is some kind of thorn involved with this rose. Okay, like there is a double-edged sword here, they feel like, in this connection. What's their actions? What's the Instagram? Why do I say Instagram? <laughs> what is the collective's next, uh, soulmate's next actions slash intentions towards them? All right, what's their soulmates, intentions slash actions? We have distorted energy. This is, again, hiding behind a mask. This person is going through it emotionally, guys. This person might be trying to balance their self out before they can come towards you. Because right now, if they came towards you, they might lash out at you or be stuck in this egoic uh, energy here. I'm getting what's their intentions slash actions towards the collective. What's their soulmates, intentions slash actions. And then we have the corn. I need one more for this. This is very up and down all over the place, right? This <laughs> is, they start singing it too. It don't matter if you're black or white. <laughs> I'm not good at doing Michael Jackson, but yeah, that is, that is their intentions towards you. They don't care. It don't matter if you're black or white. They love you. You're the boo. This is putting differences together. This is spiritual warfare. So your person right now, like I said, I saw that. <laughs> That's what I said is gooey traps. <laughs> they, they are going through it with their emotions right now. They're very up and down, back and forth. When I see the spiritual warfare card, that lets me know that somebody is like, Back and forth, up and down. They don't know where they're going. Let's straighten this out a little bit, guys. It's like a Jenga puzzle here. They don't know where they're going. They're back and forth right now. They're they're trying to weigh their options. Their heart's telling them one thing. The physical is telling them another. It's like this person they cannot be trusted, but there is love here. Um, I feel like this person cannot be trusted to make a solid decision right now. I got to be real with you. Their actions and intentions towards you, they might just be to, with this abundance, this corn, to work on their own abundance, work on themselves. I feel like they want to strengthen some kind of connection with you. They want to overcome some kind of differences. They want to come out of this distorted, hidden, because there's something hidden about this person. I'm seeing a camera. I'm seeing their face covered up. I'm seeing a back to me. What? What? You can't even tell who this is. There's something hidden about this person. This person might like to wear vests. I'm seeing a vest in this one, a vest in that one. <clears throat> but there's something hidden. What's the advice here for collective in regards to this person, right? And it don't matter if you're black or white. Yeah, caution, you're being watched. That's the advice, Collective. This person is watching you from a distance, period. With my lurker card. This person's watching you. Yeah, my, maybe even exactly. I split it on bird bitches. Maybe even gossiping, trying to get information. That's your, you're being cautioned. You're being, signs are being shown to you that this person is trying to find out things about you, trying to dig into your energy, reach out for you. There's something like that. And for some reason, Spirit is, that is your advice to know that, right? Yeah, this person wants abundance with you. This person wants some kind of payoff or offer to come 
from you to you whatever this person wants union is basically what i'm getting here what's the advice here that there's something that you're being cautioned spirit might even be cautioning you use your caution when you're working with this person because not only are they lurking from a distance and watching you and things like that and not really coming forward they're staying hidden for a reason there's some kind of distorted energy there's something they still need to reconcile within their own life here okay with the zebra going back and forth spiritual warfare all right plus they're filling up constant beat down of emotions and that's it there's this person's not used to it i feel like this person's going through the the big old spiritual washing machine of life right that's what i feel like this person's going through right now but they and they don't know what's going on they're fucking scared they're spinning around they're getting tumbled they're getting tossed here and there and the only thing that they can see is you right maybe that's what this is saying too for their feelings they're just so focused in on you it's the only thing that they can see they can't get past it with this sirens call this is the pool this is that pool you know what that is we all know we've all had them soulmate connections where you just feel so drawn to that person you feel so pulled like i don't know why i feel like i'm supposed to be right here right there your little fucking nook right under your little arm right right where that little armpit little spot is that's where my head need to be i don't know why i feel that way but i feel like you need to be right here that's how this person feels and this person i don't feel like is used to feeling like that the advice here seek advice from your ancestors from your elders people that you can trust people who don't have a biased intentions towards you want you to stay stuck in certain situations or stay in certain you know what i mean like just seek advice from the ancestors is really what i'm getting here like spiritual advice what's the advice here on this connection from spirit to the collective the advice get ready get ready and I here I come you can't hide gonna find you and make you want me okay that's the energy I'm getting here this person is gonna come towards you ready or not this person's coming look at that look at that with the snake in the, the grass listen this doesn't necessarily mean there are some signals out here that let you know everything's on a gradient though because i'm talking to the general uh, public right now so everything's on a gradient so i don't know i can't sit there and say this person's not toxic i'm not going to say that i don't know your person i don't know your situation there are not very many but a few hints of toxicity coming out in this reading so if you know this person's uh, I'm going to find you and make you want me. Like this person might be doing that. We saw that with the lurking card. They might be doing research on how they can get back in. The snake is not necessarily a negative omen for me. I love snakes. Snakes are one of my favorite animals. Um, but in divination, they, you know, they can talk about that, you know, lurking type of energy. And I get with this one in particular with this card, this snake, he is watching something. He is looking for an opportunity to ha go after something move towards something i feel like this person they do want to make a move towards you and the advice is to get ready because i feel like they're coming i feel like also the advice is that you have your marching orders from spirit spirits told you what you need to do collective stay on your path this is the energy i'm getting yep stay on your path the advice here you're going to find some tea out about something and you need to believe it or something's going to some kind of information is going to come in it could come in during a dream believe your dreams is the energy i'm getting believe what you're seeing yeah the hawk energy this person might be watching you from a distance or might be paying attention to you keeping tabs on you whatever but i feel like spirits keeping tabs on this person and spirits about to give you some kind of information possibly even through again divination I like how that rhymes. Information through divination. Anyways, I don't know, guys. But that's the advice here, though. Let me clarify just this T card real fast for advice on this soulmate connection. Spirit was like, you had it right the first time. I wasn't sure, guys. So I like to double, triple check sometimes, right? I like to give you guys accurate information or whatever. And yeah, I was right the first time. This person's coming in advice. This There's going to be some kind of message coming in about or from this person. There, You know, if the message is about them, it could be from somebody in the physical, but I'm kind of more getting energy of spirit or your ancestors giving you some kind of message. But I feel like this person that wants to reach out to you, wants to give you some kind of tea, information, something. I'm like strongly getting that energy guys okay why is the, let me let me just double triple clarify this real quick why is the collective being cautioned in this situation i just keep hearing that song ready or not here i come you can't hide why is the collective being cautioned in this situation with their soulmate right 
Okay, I'm gonna stop clarifying because every time I clarify, it's like I'm just repeating myself because it's just clarifying what I had already said. I guess it's just confirming. This is not clarification. This is confirming. That's what this is. I told you, they're cautioning you because this person's coming in. This is my Knight Rider. I don't know. The Knight Rider theme, whatever that theme is. That's what this card is. Okay? This is somebody creeping. Creep Squad. Right? This is a uh, ghost riding the whip over to your house. <laughs> That's what this is, okay? This person could just show up unexpectedly. This is a mystery traveler guest. Who the hell is this? We don't know. They're covered up in a fucking horse covered carriage wagon, whatever thingy. We don't know. It's night. It's misty. We didn't even know they were coming, right? That's that kind of energy. Unexpected visitors, unexpected guests, unexpected things popping up. This person with this horse, yeah, horses. Something's moving towards you. I'm telling you, collective. Expect it, all right? All right, that has been your reading. Mm-hmm. And I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love ya. Bye.